in. The only way out is in. So you have to vibrate on the love frequency. When you are in the love frequency, you become a creator god. We are made of stardust. Ralph Smart is telling us that if we vibrate about love, <laughs> we are a creator god. Ralph Smart and others are very new age. They will tell you some bits of truth, but never the truth of Jesus Christ in scripture. In this video, he was actually quoting from scripture, but for his purpose and needs, He's talking about outer space. He says NASA is not a straight answer, but he says they're not telling you the real info, right? He's not telling you about flat earth and God's creation. No, he's telling you about planets and infinite alien beings out there. The soon coming alien invasion. A lot of us think that that will be the rapture of the church. Then the world will have to explain it away. A lot of the new agers will probably come into play and see the aliens are good. We've been contacting them through meditation and yoga and blah, 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 all this new age garbage. Those Christians had to go in for some vibrating upgrades or something new age. Ralph Smart, a new age person talking about outer space, gives you what seems like truth but leaves out Jesus Christ, mentions the Bible but for his purposes, for aliens in outer space. I've been talking to people lately about this. This is part of the deception. This is part of the globe deception. He even used the word global pandemic and problems. So Ralph Smart, 1111, that's about like people that open their third eye talk about reoccurring numbers, slam dunk pose covering half his face and leaving one eye revealed, 666, 666 in the vast universe, Osiris risen pose, slam dunk pose, vow of silence, vow of silence, Baphomet benediction, vow of silence, three sixes over his eye, three sixes over his eye. Teal Swan is another New Age person. Look, open your third eye chakra, right? And outer space lies. Put on a space helmet. We're going to space. When your third eye has seen too much, and it's the all-seeing eye, that's our enemy in this world, Satan's eye. More Satan's eye. 1111, repeating numbers. Open your third eye. There's the third eye. Look, they're so extremely, supremely enlightened, doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra, doing the Uttara Bodhi Mudra. They have enlightenment. They don't need Jesus Christ. They have Mother Nature in raising their vibrations. And aliens, outer space. <laughs> They are wearing the Freemason checkerboard, brothers and sisters. Like, especially lately, like space has really been irritating me. It's just been all over the place, like from my family talking about it, from friends talking about it, from brothers and sisters talking about it, and then from New Agers talking about it with some bits of truth, but leaving out Jesus Christ and the Holy Bible. It, you know... I, I fell for some of this stuff when I was first waking up. That's what happens to a lot of people. They realize that there's something really wrong in the world or they learn a big truth and then they go on and these watch these new agers because they're all about love and peace, bettering you, your higher self, your raise your vibration. We need Jesus Christ. That's all. We need his finished work. Being a good person, right? We should want to be that for God and for ourselves, but that doesn't get you salvation. That doesn't do anything for you. Jesus Christ has finished it all. Please be aware of the new age and the space deception, the soon coming alien, blah, 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 blah. Brothers and sisters, I love you. Thank you for walking with me. God bless you.